right. One of the things we've been doing since we've been back is a lot of cleaning out. <laughs> Getting rid of stuff, tidying up, simplifying. stuff in the kitchen because it feels like I'm back in poppy again. Hit it! Okay, we're on. We're rolling! Hi, everybody! Hello! You notice we're back home. <laughs> a little sad. <laughs> a little sad. Definitely a little sad. So that's why we're doing this video because we kind of wanted to do like a, how we're feeling after we've been home for like a week and a half. It's been mm -hmm. like a week and a half. Now, yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's been Christmas, so it's been very busy. Yeah. Too. So it's been good because we got back like a week before Christmas. We had time to decorate the house um, and unload and clean the house out and pack everything and unpack everything and all that stuff. And so I think it's been nice because we've been really busy with that so far. And then Christmas, and then now it's the week between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. So we've had yeah, plenty. It's been good. Yeah, we've had plenty of things to keep us busy, which is good. I've thrown out a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so we'll get to that in a minute. Which is awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought you and and the and the audience too. <laughs> okay, so um, how you are like we? Mark's I, got, little, I got some notes. A little cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. He looks like a news reporter, but anyway. I'm gonna do a camera angle switch just for fun because those are great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get to how we're feeling. So yes, a little sadness Sad, because the yeah. trip's over. Mm -hmm. um, happiness to be home, to see neighbors, to see family, to see yes. friends, um, yes. but a little weird because we can't really see everybody like we normally would be able to yes. thanks to COVID. All you wanna do is give everyone a huge big hug and you can't do that. And it's a little awkward. Yeah, so we're wearing masks and continuing to do what we've been doing, yeah. um, but we feel, um, I don't know, I think we're going to start feeling claustrophobic here in another week or two. <laughs> well, and the kids have already said they're bored. Yeah. Granted, we've only been home 10 days, Yep. and we haven't heard that for six months, yeah. so that's I, a little... Yeah, it's a little, it's a little yeah, hard to hear, but yeah. I, think, I think part of it is because they were very excited to get home, so when we got home, first of all, our house seemed huge. Yes. Uh, it's 2,400 square feet, so it's like very reasonable, but um, for years we've been feeling like it's too small because yeah. it's three for bedrooms six. plus a frog For room. six people, yeah. So for six people, there's not a ton of space compared with a lot of houses out there and today. The kid, but kids share rooms. Yeah, two of the kids share, uh, the, the little girls share rooms. Mm -hmm. um, so, but anyway, we got back and it felt huge, which was awesome. Uh, but then the other I side of it. I kept telling Mark, he was standing. We'll have to show you. Well, you can we'll kind of kind of see, we got. But yeah. in our kitchen, he looked so tiny and it's because I was used to the airstream and his, you know, his head not touching the ceiling, but you know, you had space, but yeah. it was, I don't know. We so just, much closer. He looks big. Yeah. And he was standing in the kitchen. I was like, he looks so tiny. <laughs> so tiny. Yeah. So that's our, that's our nine foot ceiling. Let's yeah. just look real quick. Yeah. Grab that, that. grab that turn around. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi! <laughs> Look at all this room! Whoa. It's amazing! Whoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, perfect. All right, so um, let's see, I think we're somewhere back in the frame there. Somewhere around there. That's good. Hopefully that doesn't do any work. Yeah, so, um, but one of the funny things was. The night we got back, I went to go make mac and cheese. And I may have done a video on this on already, I can't remember. I don't think I have. But I went to go make mac and cheese. And we did like a minor kitchen remodel before we left. And so we cleared everything out of all the cabinets and drawers and everything else and rearranged before we left. So first of all, I couldn't find anything because I had no idea where anything was <laughs> because we rearranged. Uh, but secondly, when I started looking for stuff, I could, I was overwhelmed by the choices. <laughs> I literally... So he went out to the Airstream and got the pot. 
that yeah. we have been using for six months. Yeah. And use that. Yeah, because <laughs> that's all I need. I've been used to two pots. We have this little stack, we have this little set in there with a little pot, a big pot, a little pan, and a big pan, and they all fit inside each other. Mm -hmm. And I've just been used to that. I, if I want my little pot, I can get my little pot. And that's all, I know I know that's what I need to cook. <laughs> well, we didn't have that. We had like six other pots. So I had to figure out which one was good and which one wasn't too big and which one was the right size. And I was just overwhelmed. <laughs> and so that just continued into like everything else we've been doing, right? Yeah. Like you looked in, we've got some glass cabinets that you probably saw a minute yeah. ago. So then I, I cleaned out our kitchen again. <laughs> <laughs> so Because there's too much stuff. So we thought we'd purged pretty well before we We did. Left, we got rid of them. Which we much. definitely yeah. did. And mm -hmm. then now we've come back and realized it's still too much. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, pur much. we're purging again. Mm -hmm. So we'll put in some videos and pictures of all our stuff that we're yes. getting rid of. Yeah. So that's one big thing is stuff. We've I think if there's a theme to like the way we've been living for the last six months, it's like a lot simpler than... We have been mm -hmm. over the last you know 15 years or whatever yeah Did you say that i mean we're pretty simple people but yeah yeah we've, we we're fairly simple and we thought we were yeah pretty we, simple until we until we did the airstream airstream for six, for six months. months yeah and then we realized we can really pare things down a whole lot more <laughs> <laughs> and then it makes the house feel bigger right which we thought was too small right before we left and, so. and when you get all the clutter off of everything it, you know, your counters have a lot of space and anyway, it feels yeah, a lot bigger. It does. So that's a big realization we've come to. Um, the kids have enjoyed the space uh, because like they've been inside, I mean, most of the time since we've been back. I because, cannot read your writing, I'm well, sorry. That's, that's, why, that's why they're my cues. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck does that say? He so has they, like chicken. They I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. It's really. It's like, <laughs> I can't even read my own writing after that. But the kids have been playing in the rooms with Legos and other toys, and they're so excited to have all these toys again and the space to play in. Because yeah. we, we have so much floor space now. Yeah. So I think they've really appreciated that. But like you just said, we're 10 days into it and they're already going on board. Yeah, so they're, bored. Yeah. they're ready for something else. Um, and shoot, what was I going to say? Oh, we miss them. Yeah. We miss the kids. That's a big one. Yeah. So they're. You know, we're all in the same house, but we're all, we're not on top of each other anymore. So. Right. Like, we're not all in the same room. We're like, what have you been doing for the last couple hours? Yeah. We haven't seen you. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> there was, there was one day, it was like, like after dinner and I was like, hey guys, it's been so good to see you today. And I like gave everybody a hug because I was like, I missed you. Where have you been? <laughs> You're not like at my feet, like uh, playing with your toys. Yeah, exactly. Or in the Airstream or... Yeah. So, um, and then another thing I've got on my notes is putting Poppy away was not easy. Um, it was, you didn't really help her I a didn't. lot. She was doing all kinds of other stuff yeah. getting ready for Christmas and whatnot, which is good. But I was and I was getting stuff out. Yeah, with decluttering. And I was right. I was unpacking everything, and it was just very sad knowing that that was like the end to our adventure. I'm adventure glad you did over. that. I don't think I could have done. No, I, I agree, and I was yeah. thinking the same thing. That I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad I did that because I don't know if you would have <laughs> you would have been able to. Um, so mer mentally and morale wise, how are we doing? <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah. Um. I don't know, how are you doing? So far so good. But one of the reasons I bring that up is because there's honestly like a post-adventure blues yes. that, that I think we feel, um, knowing that one, the adventure's over. Um, but I was talking to a buddy of mine who is um, Nate. How, hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, I was talking to I was talking to a buddy of mine who has basically been in doing adventures for years with mm -hmm. um, students and kids, middle school and high school age, yeah. and some college age. And he was telling me that you know they actually try to brief not only the kids but the parents too on like getting back to normal because the kids have been doing this great adventure. They've been to other countries and you know all over the world and doing all these great things. And so they got all these awesome stories with all the people that they were with. And then you kind of break off of that and go back to normal. And it's it's it's, a, it's an adjustment. It's hard to get back yeah. to And no one's had life. these adventures that you've had right. for it's, six months. So, so the nice thing is us yeah. as a family have all had these adventures, so yeah. we can talk about it. But we talk to our friends and, you know, not that they, it's not that they care less, they do care about it, but it's just not the same because they yeah. weren't there living these adventures with us. So yeah. that's a little tough. Experiencing that with us. Right. Right. So, um, yeah. Um, 
yeah, so it's been good with Christmas. Uh, what else we got? I'm looking. Oh, it is kind of weird being stationary. We were, you were saying that the other day. Yes. And like, because we were so busy over six months, constantly moving, which six months, by the way, seems like a long time. <laughs> it's not. It's not a long time. No. There is so much more to do in this country and it's unbelievably beautiful. It's yeah. so, such a cool country that we mm -hmm. live in. Um, but not having that like next planning because that was part of almost every day. Yes, it, and it was stressful while yeah. we were doing it. Yeah, we got it. We got a lot better. So we got the more better you do at it, it, yes. The better you get at it. And when it's not like middle of summer, when everybody else is renting a trailer, going for the same campsites and, that you are. Yes. Yeah. Especially during COVID, when no one can. Yeah. Travel. Right. Internationally or. Yeah. So summer um, was a little stressful, but. Yeah. Then so. it got to be easy, and we would like we would wait till like the morning of to figure out where we're going next. Oh yeah. So yeah. Which was fun. It was fun. Yeah, because we got we got a lot more comfortable at first. There's no question at first when we didn't have somewhere to stay. Like the net, you know, like even a week from now or two weeks from now, we started to get really anxious about it because it yeah. like we got to get something on the books. We got to have somewhere to live. And but a lot of places were full. Right, a lot of places. So were we full. lived off of people's cancellations. Yeah. At the. In Michigan, and, yeah, mm -hmm. in some some parts of our yeah. trip for sure. We just crossed our fingers and hope people would cancel, or yeah. we would go to a campsite and we would stay oh. one day at one site, mm -hmm. and then in a, in a campground, and then at the same campground, then we'd have to move to another site. different site yeah. that was open. So yeah. it was a little. It was tricky, yeah. but it's part of the adventure. Yeah, it was part of the adventure, mm -hmm. and it was at first very anxiety-inducing, and then the more you do it, the more you get used to it, to the point where, like you were saying, our last day coming home, we didn't really have anything planned, and it was like, well, we need to kind of work our way back home from Florida, so where are we going to go? And that morning, we literally just picked up the phone, called a couple campgrounds, found something that was open, and went, sure, sounds good. <laughs> so you get a lot more comfortable with it over time. And you also know that you can fall back on Cracker Barrels and yes. Harvest Hosts were great. Yeah, um, we loved our Harvest Hosts. Never did, never did a Walmart. No, we um, didn't do Walmart. Or any of the other ones. But, um, on the plus side, we have TV. Uh, we didn't really watch any TV on our trip, which yeah. has been perfectly fine because we don't watch TV normally anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so for us, it was no different. Yeah. But it's nice to be back and sort of that, that that planning time, that time we were always used for planning and stuff is now like, hey, we have some time that we can watch a show or catch up on a Netflix yeah. or something like that, which has been kind of nice. Yeah, but, you know, nice. we certainly see how that, that's not going to last long. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's no. cool now for a few days. Yeah. In a week or two, we're going to be like, okay, we watch enough TV, we're good. <laughs> um, I just really like The Crown and yeah. I was really... Um, Missing that. Yeah, because we didn't have good Wi-Fi. Yeah. So... Another plus, the kids really are enjoying not being in the car so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they were yeah. very clear. We, we spent a lot of time in the car. We're happy that we're not in the car all the time. Yes. Um, but I think if you did it for six months, or longer than six months, then you wouldn't have to, well, I don't know, yeah, have I, those long drives. I think it was, yeah. I think it was at the end, the long drives. Well, there's no question. Yeah, yes. we did a lot of driving toward the end mm -hmm. to kind of get back and make sure we sort of checked off the, the, the other things that we wanted to do before we got home. So um, that's that's definitely true. Um, another one is uh, we have Peppy and yes. our other vehicle is a minivan. So we got back and... <laughs> I really like Peppy. <laughs> how, how do you feel about the minivan? <laughs> I love my mini minivan. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I love it. I love the sliding doors for the kids. Like, I can fit, you know, what, eight, nine mm -hmm. kids in there? Mm -hmm. um, or nine yeah, of us eight, in eight. there? Yeah. Six? Eight, eight of us. Eight yeah. of us in there. Mm -hmm. um, but I really like his truck. Yeah. And it just a nicer, like, I'm higher up. It just kind of a nicer. has a little bit more oomph. Yeah, it's a nicer build quality. It drives better. I mean, it's yeah. it's like, I mean, obviously I'm a Land Cruiser fan, but shout out to Land Cruiser fans out there. <laughs> but it's it's an unbelievable vehicle. I mean, it literally does everything you could want it to do and more, as you've seen, you know, yeah. with us taking an off-road off -road and, and towing a 7,500 pound trailer. And, and it has 200, what, 200? 212,000 miles. 212,000 yeah. miles. Yep. So Not it bad. is a beast. Yeah. So, 
Um, any other thoughts or I'm trying to think of, uh, so one of the things that we're trying to do, we're obviously keeping in touch with all of our friends and folks that we've met out on the road. We really appreciate y'all and thanks for being part yeah. of this journey mm -hmm. because it's been awesome not only to see family and friends, but meet new folks on this trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, we look forward to keeping in touch. Come see us when you come to Charleston, please. Yes, yes. Look us up. Um, and we're trying to um, keep the energy up sort of that positive energy that we have coming off of this adventure because um, it's really easy, I think, to kind of drop back down to one of our neighbors. I, I can't remember how he put it. Um, our neighbor across the street, uh, our, one's from Switzerland and one's from, his wife is from Thailand and they do a lot of traveling back and forth every year to see their family and stuff. And he kind of made the point that when you go traveling, and you've had this big adventure and all these stresses of traveling and trying to make flights and getting to the right places on time and doing all this stuff and then you come home you realize that nothing's really changed <laughs> like you get home and your neighbor's still talking about the clogged gutters and the fact they need the you know the driveway power washing and like mm -hmm. sort of you know not boring stuff but just like everyday stuff that you don't deal with when you're traveling you deal with just a whole a broader array of, of sort of life things mm -hmm. and um, so it was interesting to kind of hear him say that because he was saying that you know when he comes back from Switzerland sometimes and his wife's been at home you know she's like oh how was it and he can tell her all the stories he wants but like she wasn't there. <laughs> well, I think that goes back to your point about coming home. And, yeah. 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 In the beginning. So. But, but, but what I was trying to say I think is that um, you know, we're trying to remain sort of positive, keep the energy up, and sort of look toward whatever that next adventure yes, is. we're already planning. We're already trying planning. Trying to figure yep. out something. We might go back down to Florida. Yep. Um, we got to figure out where to use Poppy again, because she's sitting out in the cold field all by herself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we gotta, so we gotta figure out where to go next and what to do and then, um, but that I think helps keep us that energy up and that, mm -hmm. you know, that adventure, uh, adventure spirit or whatever you want to call yeah. it. We always at the end of any vacation mm -hmm. or trip we've taken, it's like the last couple of days we start thinking about the next adventure. Yep. Because it makes us not as sad mm -hmm. to be going home and then um, gives you something to look forward to. Yeah. So, which I think is important. It is important, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, needless to say, we don't have that planned yet, but we're working on it. And in the next few weeks, we'll be figuring out what, that, what those next steps are and next adventures are. Um, and we look forward to, we've already gotten some great input from our friends, so thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess that's about all I got. Yeah. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Happy yeah. New Year to everybody. Yeah. Um, wishing everybody a happy, healthy, fun new year full of laughter and family. Yes. And every time we see a trailer or a RV go down the road, a little bit of me just goes, yes. <laughs> True. That, that was us. <laughs> and it still is us. And it still is us. Gotta but get back not, out there. not every day, so. Yeah. But we'll, we'll let you, sad. we'll let you know how, uh, how easy it is to get back out there. Because I think there's yeah. reloading Poppy, putting everything back on, and all that kind of stuff um, is going to be <laughs> a big step in its own. Yeah. Uh, but. Um, and trying to fit, figure out how to fit the four kids. Right. In, well, in the in the future. In the airstream, yeah. Like because right. They're going to outgrow those bunk beds. Yes. So I think right now we're okay for maybe another six months or a year. Yeah. Maybe. But then the, the, the little girls are already kind of outgrowing the, the top bunk. Bottom one's fine, but then once they are for that, there's yeah. we gotta do something different. So we'll be working on that too. Yes. So thanks for being a part of our journey. Have a happy new year. Happy new year. Seriously, thanks for following along. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun when we talk to friends and family who are like, I've been watching your videos. Yeah. Because then you kind of know what we've been doing. Yeah. That's awesome. We appreciate that. Hi Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching!